Peace and blessings and welcome back to my channel. Recently I shared uh, my entire capsule wardrobe on YouTube and with the exception of two pieces, all of my wardrobe consists of black. So let's talk about why. As a disclaimer, all of the colors that I used to wear when I was younger was, they were all the colors of the rainbow. I mean, I shopped for every single color, even white. And now I just kind of like ban that color from my wardrobe because I can't take care of it. So I do want to say I have not always been allergic or immune to wearing all the colors. The number one thing that I found was that black was timeless. Black was always consistent in my wardrobe no matter what style I was going for. Uh, and usually when I buy a pair of shoes, I mean the first color that I look to buy is black. Uh, they really hide dirt more, they make all of your things look cleaner. Um, and I also have a black cat who's laying in her hammock right now, but it's easier to just like get out the door even if I have cat hair on me because I have a black cat. So I mean, it really hides everything and it's timeless. Those are going to round out the first two reasons. The third thing that I think people don't consider is if you don't stare too hard, your casual black clothes could actually veer on the side of professional and business. I went to business school for a few years. I was only seven classes away from graduating before I actually got agoraphobia, so very close. Um, and I also graduated with my associates in business administration. So uh, I actually got away a lot with um, black casual pieces over having to be forced to buy suits. And I'm just gonna say now, I actually went to Rutgers Business School, which is a very popular and strict business school. And I think I was the coolest person dressed there at the time that I went. Let me just say that because I was a marketing major, so you're allowed to be a little bit more creative than like an accountant. But also, uh, I just kind of played with my wardrobe a lot more. I had a lot more style than people, like kind of wearing like the black jacket, the black pants, a black tie, white shirt, you know, very, very like strict. Uh, I found that like the males had to be more strict. The women had to have, you know, they had a little bit more style because you know, you got to wear skirts if you wanted to. and. They just have like cropped dress pants, long dress pants, I mean, whatever, you know? So I just feel like women got away with a lot more style, but I think I was the most stylish there at the time because I wasn't so strict about looking like a woman, like looking like a businesswoman all the time because I felt like I could be more artistic, you know? Um, so here, I just want to say that I got away with a lot of um, more creative pieces like high-waisted jeggings um, that had that kind of looked like pants but weren't really actual slacks um, and also occasionally well if I didn't have anything super important and professional going on that day like super super professional like an interview I would get away with my bobs that I still have <laughs> which you saw in that video they were nice and black back then um, and they looked clean and if you're not really like staring at people's outfits which most people aren't then um, you're listening to the content of their words while you're talking to them then you know you just kind of take it for face value that they're dressed professionally but if I wore those same bobs in like white or pink or orange they're not gonna look professional at all they're not gonna even fool anybody in the slightest and that is something to consider is that you never know where you're gonna have an interview and I just like to have black pieces that are really timeless like a turtleneck and some jeggings or some type of pants and I could just you know I could get away with going to an interview now this isn't like a six hundred thousand dollar a year job or anything but you know it'll do for me <laughs> The other thing that I find is that it's just like so easy and low effort to wear all black for me. I could just open up my closet and I'm like, okay, great. I have my outfits here already. I don't have to think of certain textures not being able to go together because it's black and you can't really tell. So like if I have a pair of khaki pants that are like, you know, chino style and, and I wear that with like a silky top, to me, those two things don't go together at all. They're just, it's not the same material. It's not giving the same vibe. But when you put that same outfit in black, I feel like you could kind of get away with it. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard to tell what kind of texture the pieces are. And I just find that it's more low effort when I'm looking in my closet to figure out when am I going to wear today? I don't want to spend my whole time thinking about what to wear. That's not how I want to spend my time. I have other things that I want to do and I'm not really trying to sit up in the closet figuring that out. The next reason why it's like so easy and amazing for me personally is laundry 
is a piece of cake. I could just throw everything in at the same time um, and just separate it from like my sheets and my towels, but all of my clothes go together. I do not have to worry about struggling with whites or struggling with reds and other colors that bleed like pink or struggling with maybe yellow absorbing navy. I don't really have to do that because all of them are black. Now the last two reasons are sort of two food. One of them is that I feel very empowered wearing black. Like I just feel like, you know, I want to stand with my head straighter. I just feel like I'm grown and I'm a woman and I just feel super empowered when I wear that color personally. I feel that the second one within this is a whole separate idea, but it does kind of go together. It doesn't draw attention and that just makes me feel empowered. I kind of don't like the vibe of all eyes on me. I'm a very shy, reserved um person uh so i don't really like a lot of attention and if i wear like an all red suit versus wearing an all black suit i'm definitely gonna feel better in the all black suit because i feel like i could go about my day and focus on what i need to focus on instead of a lot of eyes and attention being on me and feeling like i have a spotlight syndrome going on um so yeah those are all of my reasons why i personally love wearing black i'm probably missing a few i thought of all these reasons last night and i thought it was important to address because i'm not trying to be like goth or anything although you know i used to be a rocker but i never classed classify myself as God, but the the content of what I was wearing, I hope I'm saying that right, was completely different than what I wear now. And stay tuned because I'm actually going to talk about my personal style later on that doesn't have to do with the color black, but like, what is it when I'm going shopping? What am I looking for? What am I looking to embody? I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Con mucho amor. Bye.